Tom had a great idea. John, let's learn how to fly. I, I, okay, so we'll go, I'm going with that. Yeah. <laughs> so. Lunch break. We are so glad you tuned in. I'm so happy to be here with my friend Mike Harvey, but my best friend John Haddad. Yep. You've seen his name on a lot of vehicles in town. <laughs> his last name, Haddad. And uh, Meredith Carter. They're here, and uh, tonight we've got a really cool special show. A lot of you who watch us know us that we uh, always talk about Lucky's Rescue, those adorable dogs with bow ties and, uh, you know, just kind of an amazing thing. Oh, yeah. Well, they, I love their names. They've got some creative names they do. out there. They do. But, you know, Meredith. I always remember Bubba. I know. But <laughs> you got know, adopted. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Sunday. That's the one that always comes to mind is Bubba. Well, well you know, Meredith, <laughs> you know, Mike and I were talking, and we want to help you with something, because sometimes these dogs aren't cat tested, so we figure we can help you cat test some dogs, okay. and it wouldn't be hard, would it? We could take your cats out we there. We could take my cats out there, and uh, John and I used to have cats, and uh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did. I lived with John when I came back to Bakersfield. We were roommates for about a year, was it a year? A little over a year. Yeah, yeah. We did well. I mean, he had Rottweilers. And... So, so can I jump in here and yeah. ask a question for yeah. you real quick? See, you always talk about John. You talk about John a lot. Uh -huh. He talks very fondly of you, John. Thank you. Um, <laughs> how long have you guys actually known each other? Gosh. Oh. 20-some years. Yeah. five years or yeah, so? Yeah, no longer than that because for Tiff, Tiff and I are married 28 years. Oh, yeah. So oh, it's got to be years. like 30, 30 32, 32 years. years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we've had a lot of adventures together, a lot of fun, a lot of death-defying. Yeah, it almost ended when he talked me into learning how to fly. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, heard that I, I took his number out of my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I remember that one quite like that, but that's okay. So we're here today. We're talking to Meredith and John because they have a pretty cool uh, 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 res uh, um, non-profit, kind of a non-profit. John yeah. talks about that it... He has to sell a lot of cars to afford this nonprofit. Oh yes, <laughs> but but, but uh, it's a nonprofit. It's called Lucky's Rescue, and uh, um, how did that get started, John? You know, I've always had a soft spot for animals. I, yeah. I've always, as a kid, I've always brought cats home, dogs, ducks, whatever I could, whatever needed help. <laughs> and one day I was just driving home, and there was a, a boxer on the side of the road. I stopped, I picked her up, Meredith called every five minutes. I was late for dinner, <laughs> but I was catching this dog. I was not leaving the dog. <laughs> did, and did it run from you? It ran, it ran. I called our friend Jay to catch him. Oh, he me catch Jay her. Calhoun, and God rest his soul. Yeah, and that's the, that's the first one, right, Meredith? Yes, Roxy? that's the first, yeah, that's Roxy. The first. That was what the was first. this dog's name? Roxy. Roxy? Yeah. So, so then, then, then how did we get Lucky's Rescue? Go ahead, Mary. So in 2013, Lucky wandered onto the property. And one, one night, in the middle of the night, she just decided she was staying. And so we found her in the backyard with one of the bigger dogs. He never wanted anything to do with his doghouse, but Lucky was in the doghouse. So he would pull her out by her tail. The so dog he, would have joined. So yeah, he can go in the doghouse. <laughs> and then she'd pull him out. And so uh, she just decided she was staying. So, so the littler dog pulled the big dog yes. out, too. Yes. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> hey, sometimes yeah. that just works that way. So, so we like, named her Lucky because she chose the right house, mm. uh, right? Yeah. And um, she was kind of the welcoming committee for a lot of years for all the dogs, the new dogs that came to the property. And so it's her what right. Was she, what would she do? Oh, she runs out, greets them, jumps all over, protects them. She's just She just loves all animals. Afraid of humans, but loves animals. Really? It mm -hmm. actually like it. took us two to three months, didn't it? To catch it? her, to catch yeah. Her. So she lived on the property for three months before we trapped her in the house. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then after, what, two weeks yeah. of her living in the house? we it took two, two weeks? Yes. Wow. To catch her living in the house. Joe you know, Meredith, John has a very unique way of catching dogs. Yeah, because, yes, I know this. Th because he took care of my dog, Malachi. I had a <laughs> Siberian Husky, and uh, he took care of him. And now this dog would run uh, when it got outside. And so you tell the story, John. No, it, yeah, it, and I was scared to death. The dog, what had about thirty-two cats. Yeah, oh yeah. Under her name. <laughs> yeah. Tom. Yeah, she didn't like cats. Exactly. She was not cat tested. Well, no, I yeah. think she was. Yeah. But <laughs> that's true. She yeah. Pass. She was cat tested. <laughs> so the last thing Tom told me when he left for vacation was, "Please don't let my dog get out of the backyard." <laughs> I mm. opened the gate. 
and she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I don't know what I just sat down and I, I I was I was playing with a little piece of dirt and she was very she curious, was curious on what I was playing with and she walked right up to me and I've used that trick ever since. Uh, it was so funny because I, I just I, sit down. Yeah. When he told me it happened, every time she'd get out, we'd do the same thing and it worked like a clock every time. Yeah. So so John and Meredith, you guys have. Uh, it found lucky, and it took you two weeks to get lucky to kind of come to you mm -hmm. and uh, be part of the family. Yes. Yeah. So how long after that? So did, so so as you started that, did as Lucky herself came to the property? How did it start working from then? Because if you don't, I don't, I don't think you just said, "Hey, let's have a rescue." No, after that. no, no, not at no. all. <laughs> that was the furthest yeah. thing from our minds, really. Yeah. Um, I think Patch and. JR were the next two. Well, your brother called, oh, my and brother he called, had a dog yes. he couldn't keep, a, a rescue that he found in Seven Oaks. And so we, we got Bobo, and then um, we had a few dropped off at the property. Heart Park, did, did, did people just start knowing no, that? No, no, they, they dropped them off actually at the park. Heart Park is just... And across the river. For yes, the and, and lots and lots of stray dogs at Heart Park. And so it just... It just grew from there. They seem to find their way to our ranch. <laughs> J-E-H really ranch. Yeah, it's... And, and explain J-E-H, the initials. Oh, that's my initials. Yeah. My, my initials. I, I knew that. Yeah. They're my <laughs> initials. John Elias had. Yeah. yeah. But uh, no, it just, um, it was it was neat. They would sw they would literally swim from the park to the ranch. <laughs> and um, so if we kept survive, two of them. They... Yeah, so two of them. So we kept them and one morning, Meredith and I got up early to go to breakfast, and there's a dog sitting right in front of the gate on the driveway. Like, hey, I'm here. Let me in. I, I'm here. I've made the journey. Yeah. So. Really, it is, it is really something to, to see. That's not the only dog that just showed up at the property. Yeah. We had multiple just, just arrive, and they're there to stay, like Lucky. Well, you know, they kind of have a sixth sense. They can tell when there's you love know, there. You know, I think so. I really think so. I have, a, I have a job Tom asked me to do every single show, but I'm going to do it a little bit different this time, and John might get mad. Um, well, so, I'm not going to sit between you if he gets mad. No, no, not mad. John. Sorry, Tom might get mad. Oh, um, well, I've always so, been mad at you. <laughs> um, so, normally, it's supposed to be, what is something most people don't know about you? It doesn't have to be something fancy or anything, but I want to know about the airplane story time Tom almost killed you. <laughs> <laughs> Tom had a great idea. John, let's learn how to fly. I, I, okay, so we'll go, I'm going with that. Yeah. <laughs> so so uh, we were learning how to fly. Mm -hmm. They played many of jokes with me when I'd fall asleep in the plane. Uh -huh. I'd wake up to Tom <laughs> and the instructor saying, Mayday, Mayday, we're going down. <laughs> we had fun. Yeah, we, we had fun. Uh -huh. yeah. But uh, Tom sold first. He did a first solo. Uh -huh. And I knew next it was my turn, so <laughs> yeah. I but, wasn't happy. But I will tell you this. Every <laughs> time there was a task to be done, I think if I got a, you had to, it had to score seven and a half to um, pass, I got like a 7.8, and he like got a 10. I mean, it was just, it was just, it was just funny. Yeah, barely got by. Uh, I, I did, but he always just slammed him. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. There was one day, and you could go back in the history books, and it was the Bakersfield Convention Center, and Ronald Reagan spoke yes. in Bakersfield. And John and I, John had the great idea to let's fly to San Francisco. Remember that? Mm, yes. And we we're going to take two separate planes, and we brought a camera. And so we were going <laughs> to film outside and wave <laughs> at each other. Hey, because we had had beautiful days, right? Yes. And no yes. problems. You know, we had, uh, yeah, well, we'll talk about that one later. But, <laughs> but we, we got in, and I'll never forget, I was taken off first uh, out of uh, Meadowsfield, and a drop of water hit my windshield. <laughs> and I called the tower, and I was like, hey, you know, you know we're cleared to fly. We've got a flight plan and all that. So, if, if, you know, is the weather going to be good? They go, oh, you're going to have a, you heard it, right? Yes. They're going to have a beautiful flight all the way to the bay. And we took off. And I'm telling you, um, the, the, the official... Um, I think uh, report that day was it, it, the tent for the Bigfoot Business Conference. Some of its anchors got blown out, and it was there was a there was a 55 um, knot crosswind on the tarmac, and um, I was I I bailed first. I called John on the radio and said, "Hey, 
uh, I got to land at Shafter. We didn't even make it past Shafter. <laughs> and John goes, my door blew open at oh, 3,500 wow. feet. So he's wow. leaning over holding the door open. And, and so uh, I... Sounds like fun. It, uh, well, actually, I'm not sure how much fun it was. Because <laughs> I, you know, I, I got to the point, and there was emergency vehicles, their lights were on, wasn't there? Yes. There, so they were waving people off. And I'm like, there's no way. If I don't land now, I'm not surviving. So I just extended over them and I flew over them and touched down. <laughs> Everything was great until there was a gust of wind. And they tell us always, don't they? Keep your nose up and you know, accelerate and the power. Accelerate, yeah. And so you always learn that in flight school. So I, so I did, because the, the wind caught me, I went back up and I just kept the nose up and um, it came back down. But when it did, it shot and we went out in the dirt field. And so, John, you said you saw me going to the All dirt field. All I see was Tom shooting to the dirt uh -huh. field, and I see the, the cars with the lights. <laughs> and we, we lost communication, so yeah, we I did. couldn't talk to Tom. Uh, oh, my gosh. And, and so I thought I was going to endo, for sure, just like that. And I did. So I taxied down, and I came back, and the, the vehicles rushed to me. I thought I was going to be arrested. That <laughs> <laughs> I would have been the first rush. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so they came to me, and they go, oh, my gosh, you're the first one to land today because no one's been landing. I go, well, there's one more coming in. <laughs> and we all turned around. Here comes John, just flying in. He crabbed in, just perfect. Beep, beep. And just taxied around and came back, and I'm like, show off. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not land that plane. I still say to this day, I didn't land the plane. God does the yeah, plane. I, I, I don't know how I landed that so, plane. So what was the part that made you take his number out? Oh, the windstorm. He was we, scared to we death of the so, plane. No, no, <laughs> yeah. no. He got mad at me because our instructor called. And he said, no, you guys need to fly those planes back. And I looked at him and I go, I, I think we might be able to do this. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's like, there's no way we're going to fly. It was a, dust, wind, I mean, two... <laughs> So you're, you're thinking, this students. guy's a media. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Tom, yeah, you remember, you wanted to get back in the plane. We'll both fly back together. And you got to remember, Tom was, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, just, Mr. California. Yeah, I said, Tom, you're, I'm sorry, but you're not getting through me. I mean, I'm going to have supernatural. We are not flying back. Yeah, that uh, was thirty that, or a minute after that. Remember, Tom, you couldn't see yeah, you a could. foot in front of our face. The dust. He saved our lives. Yeah, actually. Cause I, cause I, our, uh, the airport where we rented the planes, S N S flight school. Yeah, you know they were like. That's a great. I've never heard this version of the story. Oh, it Tom. was scary. It <laughs> was bad. It was uh, bad. Honestly, it's a great story, though. Honestly, um, I um, was going to quit flying, and then one day he took me. He said, "Hey, let's fly to the beach for your birthday." And I go, oh, okay, that'll be kind of fun. And we did, and I fell asleep. But remember, you woke me up and you said, so after a big jet, do we rotate past <laughs> yeah. the, their, their rotation or before? And I'm going, uh, this is why I don't want to fly. <laughs> right here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sleeping, and I wake up, and i got to make a life and death decision <laughs> right now. And I go, it's beyond their rotation, because mm -hmm. oh. it's like a tornado where it is. Sure, and so sure. we, we had a great lunch, yeah. and we flew back, and we're, we survived. So, yeah. Barely. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. So so now we're talking about Lucky's. We're going back. To, that was okay. that was the story. Yeah. Fantastic story. Thank you so much for humoring me, John. <laughs> yeah. Uh, jo well, oh, 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 oh. he's going to take flight to school. Oh, I, I am. Yeah. Well, My wife signed me up. You and I just keep our mouth shut now, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody likes it in the beginning when it's fun, right? Yeah. The beginning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the beginning. <laughs> then, then your then your brothers bought a, a plane with a parachute. They had a parachute, so they, they never sold because they had a parachute. Yeah. I don't consider that selling. Oh. <laughs> John, we, we jump no out without the parachute. Yeah. John goes, hey, my brother's bought an airplane, and it's got a parachute. I go, I'm not flying with the parachute on the airplane. <laughs> I can't even picture that, you know, but they do. So. Uh, oh, the, the airplane itself the has airplane a parachute? Itself had a parachute. Oh, you're not just yeah. like to have a parachute they could jump no, out. No, no, yeah. the plane has a parachute. <laughs> it's like a they... bike with training wheels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I wasn't, uh, yeah, and it wasn't selling me on that one, so that was kind of a... Yeah, cool story. I'm, oh. But I'm excited to do it. It's something I wanted to do for a long yeah, time. I think you it should. It was a it was birthday fun. present. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. 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 That's a great gift. Yeah. 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 We, we had a lot of fun moments. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about that. We sure did. Yeah. <laughs> we had to stop at the bar after that a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the story we'll save for another time. time. <laughs> it was not a pastor. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, this is getting fun, Tom. Uh, I know. <laughs> so we're going back to Lucky's Rescue before, um, yeah, all that comes up. So, so keep going. So, so we've got some dogs coming. What made you guys start 
you thinking about, let's start an official rescue. So what goes into that? How, do, how does that happen? Meredith? You know, John's full of great ideas. And he's, <laughs> he's definitely the idea guy. <laughs> but the legwork that goes into making that idea actually become a, a rescue or a wedding business for that it is, is, this, is this where we get lectured? It, yes. it, it, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So um, he decided we should become a rescue. And by now we have probably, um, we have about 20 dogs, mm -hmm. I think. And uh, we're, we're doing a good job. You have two in the house, right? Four. Okay. Now yeah, four. Yeah. Lucky's but living large. And, at one yeah. point we had seven little dogs in the house. Mm -hmm. Wow. Home. Yeah, Se seven. <laughs> That's where starting it, right? Yeah. It was cold, and then it was hot, and then, you know, they had to stay in the house. So John wants to become a rescue. Um, at this point, we are, we are doing a great job finding good homes with yeah. friends, family, our gardeners, mm -hmm. you know, anybody I know, I know that how comes. that works. I ended up with a, um, one of John's puppies. <laughs> wow, yes. Yeah. Okay, then you understand. There's a little strong army that comes <laughs> along with, the, with this. Hey, the dog's yours. <laughs> yes, we'll give you a bag of food a month until you, <laughs> you see if it's going to work hey, out. I, I, JR was a great dog. Yeah, he was. His, do his dad's name was Shredder, and okay. his mom's name was Thrasher. Huh. So Jr. came out of this. <laughs> you would think that they were the Halloween movie, <laughs> yeah. right? The Shredder and Thrasher. That's funny. Or Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so we we needed to start an actual adoption process. We needed to actually go through channels to get the dogs adopted to someone other than family and friends, right? We've mm. run out of all of our family <laughs> and friends. Like, we actually had to branch phone. out. <laughs> we had to branch out at this point. So, um, so yeah, we went and the, the um, animal control happened to stop by one day and they said, you know, we are amazed at what you do out here and we want to offer you a kennel license, which is that's pretty unheard of. Really yeah. difficult to get. Yeah. And so we said, all right. And the the animal control um, lady said, you know, the best thing for you to do would be establish a nonprofit and get some help to take care of these dogs the way you take care of them. And John had already been in my ear about it. So hmm. at that point we. So when was this? Like how many 2017? years? Two thousand seventeen. Okay, so so yeah. not that long ago now. Yeah. Just about no, five no. years. Just yeah. recently, yeah. Uh, we didn't set out to be a rescue, obviously. Sure. Uh -huh. We were taking in animals. Accident. Yeah, we were you taking were in them animals. In and giving them away, getting them in. Yeah, we were keeping more than we were giving <laughs> at that point. And so, um, yeah, but, you know, now today we're up to 81 animals. Wow. We've had over 40 successful adoptions. That's awesome. So, um, yeah, that's, it's, it, it, it's and coming that's, along. And that's pretty hard to do, isn't it? It is. Yes. Yeah, like, you know, especially you, when you're, you're you're concerned about the animals, and we're yeah. so attached to them. By the time you know, by the time they get adopted, but it is really rewarding to see them go off with a family. It, and, it is, and it's, know that they have a it's great a good home. Feeling. It is. Well, it really I, I, is. I I love that. So so one of the things that um, fascinated me about what you guys do because it didn't just stop with dogs. Because you guys yeah. ended up with horses. I remember when John called me and says, hey, you had to come out and see <laughs> Angel and Daisy. 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 And he said they were kind of, uh, what show were they on? They, I, I, I <laughs> get to my office, I log on the computer, and they were on uh, USA Today. Uh -huh. Where? I keep forgetting. Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines, Iowa. Yeah. So I thought for sure being on USA Today, somebody would definitely mm -hmm. adopt them. Well, they were at a foster. They were at a foster. Yeah. In Iowa. So and, 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 and what was the issue with those two? They had both been abandoned. Um, Daisy had um, a virus in her eyes, and if ha it had been treated, she would have kept her sight, but they didn't treat it, so she lost her sight. And so, so Daisy and Angel were a pair, a team. They were a pair. They, were, they met at the rescue, yes. and, and it became evident that they relied on each other. And so... Um, so they would get separated, and Angel would whinny so that Daisy could find her, and it was a really touching story. And I remember watching it on the internet. Yes, yeah. this guy, he said, boy, if no one else will take them, I, I, I'll take them and we'll keep them together. That was it. That was the extent of the <laughs> email <laughs> to the rescue. <laughs> and so they were shipped out here. It's the next thing I get a phone call, and I, well, I go home, and I, what did I say? Meredith, you need to do the application and interview for the horses we're taking from Iowa. <laughs> we're taking them. Yeah. yeah. So they asked me things like, how often do you have 
dental for your horses? And do you float their teeth? Their teeth? And I've never owned a horse. John and has. So, yes, yeah. but you know he didn't share this information <laughs> with me before the interview. Yes. Yeah. But it's a cool story. You can yeah, still oh, it's see a great, it online. Yeah, it's, it's a great story. Daisy depended on Angel. Mm -hmm. and, oh, well, I, yeah. I thought I thought it was cool when you went out there and you saw them interact together. Yeah, it was yeah. really special to see them. So together. you don't have them any longer. Angel passed. Okay. We but we have we we took on a third horse. Okay. I think what five years, ten years? No, five years ago we put them together. So we knew Angel. Angel was sick to begin with, so we knew she wasn't going to live for too long. So. Okay. So now she uh, she's with her best friend Tramp, and they oh, get along cool. great. That's yeah. Super cool. So, 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 so it, it, it's interesting because you, you took a, a pair of horses that weren't going to be, when I say this, don't, you, know, you weren't going to be of any value. You weren't going to ride them. No. You, weren't, yeah. you, you were just going to let them have a great ending to their life. To their life. That's, yeah. Yeah, so. yeah Angel had a, um, a condition called laminitis. So she had a 45 degree rotation in her mm -hmm. hoof. So John built a new barn that had a padded floor for her. Um, a big area <laughs> for the two horses to go, and they never spent one night in that barn. It was, it was, it was too, it was far, too away. far away from the house, yeah. and, and the blind one would get nervous at night. So it was too far me, for me to run to the new barn. So, so I built a second barn. Yeah. So it was too far for Meredith, yeah, too. Huh? It was too far for us, yeah. Well, we so we hear built a second, not fairness. a barn, but a second stall <laughs> to keep them closer to the house. They, they, they needed special attention. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. I, well, I love the I love the story because your hearts have always been there. You know, as you're rescuing animals, of course you got to be caring for them, but you're not also looking for a payback or anything like that. Oh. And I and I, I don't I don't think people that go into what you guys are doing, do that. It's so yeah. rewarding, it Tom. Is. We yeah. say often that they give us more than than they take. I mean, it's yeah. just it really is rewarding. I love it because I can tell you what. You go out there because my daughter got married at my friend's ranch and it was a gorgeous wedding. Uh, I can never say thank you enough to John and Meredith for that. Mm. But um, you go out there and no, I'm telling you this, and John, you got a story about this, um, that uh, no one's going to come onto your property um, unimpended because those dogs are going to take care of business. Yeah. <laughs> didn't, didn't you say that somebody was trying to come across There was them? one incident. I was down at the river playing with the dogs. I had 14 dogs with me. <laughs> 14. Like five pit bulls, German shepherds, big dogs and small dogs. And I don't know what I did to upset the guys at the park, but they wanted to, cost wanted to come over. Yeah. They, they were crossing the river. and <laughs> I asked them, please don't, you know, you're not going to swim back. If you make it over here, you're not going back. <laughs> and not that I'm a tough guy, but and it, it was the <laughs> the neatest thing. I'm serious. These dogs knew I was in somewhat of danger, and they lined up in front of me like soldiers. <laughs> wow. I mean, like soldiers, all 14 of them. And as soon as they hit my property, the dogs took off, <laughs> and they took off running, and I started laughing. He said, I told you so. I started laughing, and then I thought, oh, my God, they're going to catch him. <laughs> so I screamed, stop, and they all stopped. But the 180-pound Mastiff, Whoa. he wasn't stopping for anything. Wow. But he finally stopped. Thank God they didn't he catch him. He got tired. Yeah, running, no, right? no, he finally listened. He knew. <laughs> mm. But, um, yeah, they're, I mean, it's like they knew I was in harm's way. Yeah, but they're so loyal. And, they were and so loyal. And dogs never it's, forget yeah. when they've been rescued. They, they was, it I was think amazing. So. I really it was think really we say amazing. that, too. Yeah. Yeah. We have, a, we have a rescue at our house, too. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, the best dog you could yeah, ever have. We do, have. too. Oh, we, I thought you had a rescue. I was going to say, do you need, do you have room oh. for more? <laughs> <laughs> I said, we'll ship some over. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've been trying to talk to my wife to get another dog, but she's like, eh, right now we got the kids. We and, have six new puppies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the temptation mm, is yeah. on. We have 12 new kittens. How about there, kittens? there we go. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Can my daughter would be all over that. <laughs> you didn't stop with just the dogs and no. the horses. No. Now you got kittens. And we had a goose. Or, yeah. yeah, we had a goose. Mm -hmm. well, what was the goose's name? Gus. Gus. Gus I love that. Gus and, the goose. Yeah. yeah and he followed, sounds like a, a, a yeah. children's book in the making. Right? It yeah. does. He followed John around he, like a dog. Everywhere. He You're kidding. followed me. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have pictures of that? That's yeah. Yes, we do. And, uh, That's awesome. I would get in my truck to leave for work, and he would try to get in the truck with me. Well, mm -hmm. that'd be kind I mean, of a trick because that, he, would he try to fly into the truck? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, yeah, I'd have to. <laughs> John, that'd have been cool bringing him to I the know, that I dodge. Know. I wish I would have. <laughs> I wish I would have. Oh, that would be. That would be cool. Yeah. <laughs> the, the 
Gus the, the new yeah. mascot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would have been really nice. Yeah, that is awesome. Well, um, and, and, as, as you go further, I mean, you know, this is something that uh, we always like to talk about. What, um, uh, has it, how has it changed you? I mean, a lot of times, you know, you go into this, you didn't go into this singly. I mean, we had our friend Jay Calhoun die, and you ended up with Blackjack. And what do you say about Jay with Blackjack? He's still getting me. He's yeah. still playing jokes on me. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs literally ruined my house. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, uh, it's, so, it's, so has it changed you guys, just uh, your outlook? It's just, uh, it, I, I can't, uh, it's just a good feeling knowing that, you know, when we find them, it's, it's, they're so scared, they're hungry, they're skinny, they're sick. And four days later, they're looking at me like, hey, uh, hey, big guy, feed us. We're hungry. <laughs> you know? Or, you, you're, you're late. Yeah, you're late. For exactly. Sure. It's just, it's a, I can't, it's just a nice feeling, you know, that they have a home mm -hmm, and they're going mm -hmm. to be okay for the rest of their life. I mean, they're with us for the rest of their time if we can't find homes. Yeah. But know, I think they've made the ranch a home. I yeah. think they really make it feel like, like home because our animals are there. It's just a good feeling. Well, it is. Well, I mean, you, you got a whole life cycle there and the story's incredible. Because, yeah. you, you know, there again, you're just not in it to get people adopting them. They become part of your family. Yeah, they, they sure. definitely are. Now, when it's cleanup day, when it's my turn to clean up with the <laughs> shovel in the bucket, I'm not so happy. Do, do you have to do, <laughs> oh, it? do, do you go yeah. out and clean it oh, up? Oh, yeah, every now and then. We, yeah. work, we have workers. No, I'm not saying John doesn't work. You I work get, hard. I get in the stalls and make sure they all know me. And uh -huh. that day, I'm not happy, though. <laughs> There's a lot of cleaning. <laughs> yeah, that's funny stuff. Yeah. I, I do have to tell the story because when John and I um, were younger, we had dogs. And so we took them out to be um, uh, um, trained. And uh, we took out um, Shredder. Shredder. To Johannes. To Johan, yeah. Yeah, remember? And John was real proud because Shredder was just this big, powerful <laughs> um, uh, um, Rottweiler. You looked at him, his name Shredder. And, and and Johannes came over and he was testing him. He had a stick. <laughs> a stick yeah. And so Shredder, <laughs> Shredder went behind John and stood there like a kid, you know, how they go Scared, behind him. Yeah. And he stuck his head out between John's legs. <laughs> that was here's funny. This, here's this 150 or 60 pound Rottweiler. And, <laughs> and Johannes, oh, is, awesome. Johannes is saying something in German, you know. Uh, <laughs> and he did that. And so Shredder came out and Johannes touched Shredder with the stick. John had to pull this dog off him. His oh. dog, it just, and John's like, I'm proud of him now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Because yeah. Johannes was going to train him unless he had some aggression. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I, th I think John was feeling like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. You know, I do have a funny, I, I, I stopped, I picked up a dog at Shell Beach, a little ways, a, what is it, half a mile past her house. I put him in my truck on the passenger side. I go around to get in the truck. The dog wouldn't let me in my truck. <laughs> <laughs> would That's not a let me in the truck. Yes. <laughs> he wouldn't let me in my truck. I, I stood out there for over an hour. An hour? Trying to, you know, I wow. opened the back doors, trying to get him out. You're like, get out of my truck now. It, I finally won. I got in my truck, and he, 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 we still have him. He's a great dog. Was he a big dog? <laughs> big dog. <laughs> yeah. but what breed? Fun. Uh, it's German Shepherd. Okay. And uh, he took the truck over. It was his truck. Mm -hmm. it, I was now out in the wild. Now I was. It was my time to survive out in the wild. It was a male. It was. I think. Yeah, it was a male. He, yeah, he's yeah. a male. Yeah. Ma males are still, property protective. Oh, okay. Well. And he's still there. Right? He's still yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. But it Did was. You put fun. him in a truck anymore? Oh yeah. I, I, yeah. Oh, he let you in yeah. now. Okay, your buddy. But he, he, I was out in the cold without a jacket for probably two or three hours. <laughs> It was oh, I love that story. Yeah. I love those stories. Yeah, that's what that's what we have as a male German Shepherd. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, and beautiful they, dogs. They are. They are. They are. Um, uh, for any advice you would uh, tell people, and you know, say so if you want to go out there, you'll see on our screen we'll have Lucky's Rescue, and when they when they, they hit apply, they have to fill out the paperwork. a lengthy application. Yeah. Because you want to make sure they go to the right home. Yeah. We do. And we, we are big about matching and making sure it's a good fit. So we do a meet and greet. We do background checks. We do a home evaluation just to make sure we're making a good choice. Because you don't want to have a repeat. You want to make a successful Right. And match. yes. And we, we want it to be a pleasurable experience for, for everybody. For yeah. Yes. Um, uh, tell us about the closed colony. Because that's important, I think. We always tell people that you have a closed colony. That means once they get to your place... Once we inspected. get them, yes, we take them to the vet. They're going to be spayed, neutered, um, you know, all of their shots. Um, 
flu shots included, everything we can do to make sure that they stay healthy and well because we have, you know, like I said, 80 dogs that we're exposing to whatever this dog might have that we're bringing to the property. So, um, yes, we're a close colony in the sense that we, we, if they come in, they come into a quarantine area to make sure that everybody's healthy and well before they join the pack. And I think that was important because it wasn't a year ago, I think, when I, was it Parvo that spread through the right. um, city and county yes. facilities? Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think mm -hmm. I think it was. Yeah. And I think we were advertising that that didn't affect your dogs. Mm. Uh, yeah, we're I really fortunate. That. We've had three dro dogs dropped off to us with Parvo. And so we've been able to treat them and, and successfully. Them? No, we haven't. We had a litter exposed to Parvo. So every mm. morning and every night we gave them um, Tamiflu. Um, hmm. And none of them Human were sick. Human Tamiflu? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah, we'd have to hand feed them, or she would. Yeah, yeah, I... I <laughs> So, John gave Meredith the credit. So, um, it, it, yes, Parvo is really serious. We, we take it seriously, along with everything else. So after working a long day at the dealerships, you come home and you have more work to do at Lucky's Rescue. Yes. But I don't consider that work. Well, it's, I know. It's so... well, well, you do say that you have yeah. to sell more vehicles to afford... This is that, true. they... they... They have forced me to sell more vehicles. <laughs> I, I'm back out. I, I, I'm, I'm actually back out meeting and greeting people. <laughs> hey, oh, by the, the way, going. oh, yeah. it'd be crazy to get that German Shepherd put it in the truck. I, I know, huh? <laughs> yeah, put it in the trade-in. Yeah. <laughs> I can't leave. That's a good idea, Tom. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, we're always trying to sell those cars. Yeah. yeah. And dogs. And dogs. <laughs> no, they get those for free. Yeah. So is there anything else you guys would like to leave the audience with? Just... Uh, the fact, I know it's not easy because I know you guys have, have, have been working with the neighbors and just all through that. And I know that's always been important for you guys. Anything you want to leave the audience with that maybe we haven't talked about? Well, our first fundraiser. Oh, I, how could I forget that? Mike, that was your job. You had two jobs. And you, <laughs> well, you didn't tell I'm me that was everything. And we're going to talk about cutting his, <laughs> we're going to cut his pay, Alex. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. One thing you want to talk about it? Um, I'll let you do it. Okay. <laughs> I'll get the details wrong. Yeah, you will. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so basically, we've got a uh, fundraiser. It's an inaugural charity golf tournament, and it's Friday, November 4th at Rio Bravo Country Club. Lucky's crew is going to be a part. They've got a $5,000 helicopter drop with the golf balls. You can purchase a golf ball for 250 or you get seven. No, you get one golf ball for 20 One golf ball for 20 I want to be this backwards. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say, two, it doesn't say 250 on either side, Tom. <laughs> I'll take 250. Yeah, so I'm reading it like this way. Per ball, 20 bucks. For seven balls, 100. So that's, that's the deal. I love that. And you got a lot of good sponsors. You have the Sheriff Donnie Youngbug mm -hmm. here. Are those his dogs, John? Yes, I, I they are. So, they yes. are his dogs. Did any of them come for Lucky's? Yes, no. No. But his... his uh, What's he's, wrong with Donnie? You need to like, give him a dog. He has quite a few dogs. And Kim... Yeah, I think these are all adopted. I think uh -huh. Kim. Yeah, Kim. Um, she she does a lot to help our our organization. Donnie's girlfriend. Great. So yeah, okay. We'll give him a break. But then. tell the story behind the golf balls. What what are they dropping the golf balls for? Uh, we're dropping the golf balls, and we have a guaranteed five thousand dollar winner. Whoever gets closest to yeah, the hole. Yeah, closest to the hole. I like that. So, so someone they, the, will win. The go, go, the number the golf balls are numbered then. Correct. Yeah. Corresponding to people who buy them. I like that. John, we should go up and drop the golf ball. I know. <laughs> we Wait, you guys know how to fly helicopters now, too? No, no. <laughs> I think we could do it. Yeah, I think we could do <laughs> you it. You figure it out. We're going to yeah. leave that to professionals. Yes, we are. <laughs> Meredith, you know too much about us. Yeah, well, <laughs> I know enough. She's, yeah, she's, she's keeping her mouth closed. <laughs> she's heard the stories. <laughs> she's being kind to you. <laughs> yes, it is. So, hey, it's a worthy cause. We'll have this up on the screen. We'll also be having how you can adopt one of the uh, pets out at uh, Lucky's Rescue. You can have dogs. You can have kittens. The goose is gone, right? The goose yeah, is gone. Yeah. You can have the shepherd that will keep people out of your vehicle, <laughs> including you. <laughs> and, uh, it, it, you know, I mean, do people ever drop in just to see the animals and stuff? Um, no, not really. But we do have some people volunteering to come out and help walk the dogs. Which is great. We we could you, love could any you? help. Yeah, we would love anyone who would love to come out and help walk dogs. We would love that. Or foster. Or so foster, we can get yes. some of our dogs prepared to be in a home environment. Mm. That That's really important, too. So how would they contact you? The same application? Visit our website, mm -hmm. uh, luckiesanimalrescue.com. 
Yep. Well, it was so funny, John, I never told you this. So at Tessa's wedding, I walked out and no one was at the guest booth. So I just stood there and I was just working the, you know, and people were coming up and uh, Tiffany came up and she goes, oh, well, there's supposed to be somebody here. And I go, well, they aren't, so I'm here. <laughs> and, I, you know, and I just did it for a while, but they were out there looking at the horses. Oh, oh right. nice. Very nice. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. they're watching, like, oh my gosh. And uh, they came, I go, no, it's no big deal. I was, I was having fun, but they were looking at the horses. Oh, yeah. They, they Daisy, the it. blind horse, she looks so sweet, but you got to be careful around her. <laughs> she, she's a little biter. She's honoring. Yeah. She's honoring. She'll <laughs> nip you. Yeah. Uh, I love that stuff. So, Mike, anything else you want to say? or you know? uh, John, yeah. America, go ahead. No, go ahead. You don't want to do any of the jobs tonight. <laughs> I, d I did part of the job. I know you did. <laughs> hey, we got to give him caffeine, Mr. Producer. <laughs> so, John and Meredith, thank you so much for coming on, just oh, uh, being part. I know we've been trying to get this uh, uh, kind of this uh, this part of the show done. So, there again, love you, my friend. Well, thank you for having us, Tom. Yeah. Thank yes, you, thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah, thank you. you. Hope you enjoyed this uh, show. So, let us know. And uh, thank you for watching. God bless. Thank you.